Hey, Crimson Tide fans, come on in, let's huddle up. Let's talk about the big game with Auburn, all right? Now, this is the 75th meeting between the two universities, and of course, Alabama, our side, holds the edge. 40 wins, 33 losses, and one tie. But I tell you what, this is going to be a barn burner. You know, we're facing uh, one of the best teams in the country, certainly the best opponent we've seen all year. Coach Gene Sizik's uh, team is uh, undefeated, undefeated and has looked good doing it. So how are we going to beat these guys, right? Well, we're going to beat them with a lot of heart, a lot of effort, and some outstanding play. First, I want to look at the offensive side of the ball. How are we going to score some points? What do we need to do to get this Auburn bunch uh, on their heels? I am uh, a firm believer that the game starts at the line of scrimmage between the offensive line and the defensive line, and this is a major challenge for our offensive line. We're going up against an Auburn bunch that's a uh, good defense, but has a great player up front in their defensive line, and Nick Fairley. He's been nominated uh, for the Chuck Bednarik Award for the best defensive player in the country. And from what I've seen, we're going to need more than one guy chipping at him and blocking at him uh, because he is just a force. He's quick, uh, he's strong, he's uh, a beast. So we're going to have to figure out a way how to contain him in both the passing game and the running game. We may uh, use two blockers on him at a time, whatever it takes to get him out of the flow of the game. Given the opportunity by our offensive line, you know Ingram can gain some yards, you know Richardson can flat gain some yards, and McElroy is throwing the ball better than he's thrown it in the past, the best I've seen him throw. So what do we have to do? We need the same kind of play out of McElroy. We need accurate passing and when our skilled players get their hands on the ball, we need to hold them. Every opportunity they get to make a play, our playmakers on offense need to own up because this is going to be a 60-minute game. Defensively, you folks understand what we're confronted with. We have a special animal over there playing quarterback uh, from the other side. He's a gifted runner, and he can throw the ball pretty darn well. So how do we do this? We need to contain him when he goes back to pass from some form of pocket to keep him inside there as well as having pressure in the middle. So our defense uh, is going to have their hands full with the running of Newton alone. In the secondary, Hey, our young guys, and I say young guys, our defense with nine new starters, you know, they've matured a bit over the season. In fact, we lead the nation by making 21 interceptions. So if we can get some pressure on Newton and force him to throw the ball a couple of ways, slow down the running game, that'll force him to throw the ball, as well as our offense getting some points, that's going to force Auburn to throw the ball more than they would like. So we're going to need a balanced effort out of our secondary as well as the guys up front. Secondary covering those passes and the fellas up front need to apply relentless pressure back there on Newton. Our special teams folks, don't, don't ever forget special teams. They are so important. When you talk about field position, that means where the opponent gets to start a drive from. When we kick off, we need to be able to cover these kicks. I don't want to see any kickoffs going out of bounds either. <laughs> you give that offense a, a start at the 40-yard line. No, no. Let's kick that thing down there and cover well. Same thing to be said about our punting game. We need good efforts out of our punters and our kickers. I'd like to see an error-free day and have the accuracy with our field goal game as well as our punting game 100%. Now, the guys covering the kicks again, just like the kickoff, covering the punts, we need to contain Auburn. We want to keep them back on that end of the field. So the special teams are going to be big. 
And don't ever forget, folks, it's not just the punter and the kicker when it comes to getting that ball off. First, you have our center. He needs to get a good snap. He needs to get an accurate snap for the punter and for our field goal and extra point kickers. And then our holder has to catch the ball and get it down. It's a team effort anytime we're kicking that ball or putting it in the air somehow. So today I think we're going to need, uh, today, tomorrow, we're going to need our best game of the season. And I believe we're up to it. Coach Saban has liked the way the Tide has practiced with the intensity and uh, confident urgency that we'll need for this game. And uh, I'll tell you what, I'm just so excited. And it's still a day early, but when you folks go out to that stadium, we need you. We need our stadium to be rocking from the time that ball is kicked off, actually, you know you'll get into it before when the tide comes out on the field. I expect to hear a lot of cheering, man, and I also would appreciate some boos. Some boos. Let those people from the other side know we don't like them in our house. We're out there to beat them today. And we need your participation, fans, because you can disrupt the flow of that offense that the Tigers have. You can disrupt the communications between their players and the quarterback signals. We need you fans, and we're going to get out there and have some fun. Now, on an important, very important note, I want to wish you all a happy Thanksgiving. I think this is a special day of the year because it's a time that we can reflect and Thank the good Lord for what we have instead of wanting something else or wishing for something. We've been blessed, uh, most of us, with our health to begin with, certainly with our loved ones and our families and friends. Let's be thankful for what we have. What we don't have, be thankful that we have a chance to reach out and give effort and maybe get what we may need. Thankful. Thank you, good Lord, for where we are right here in this United States of America and Tuscaloosa, Alabama, the state of Alabama, and even where I am right now. My heart is with you even though I'm in Florida. I'm saying the same thanks to the good Lord myself, my family and I. All right. I don't know what all you folks are going to be eating uh, today down in the heart of Dixie. But I've got this big old platter of a roasted war eagle. And I believe I'm going to get into it even before the game. Do you ever see a roasted war eagle? Well, if you don't see one today, you'll see a bunch of them tomorrow. All right? Roll, Tide! Ready? Break! <laughs>